I'm going to go three quarters. No, nah, that's not right. Start again. Let's start again. Hey friends, and welcome back to Bushrats. You're out here in the Jarrah Forest with Young Lee. Uh, so if you've been keeping up with the channel lately, you would have noticed we're doing a fair bit of chainsaw sort of stuff. So going out, getting loads of wood. Yeah, just having an absolute blast with the chainsaws, enjoying winter, um, other than the cold. But looking forward to a bit of summer soon, getting back into the fishing and getting some more camping done. So for today's one, we've got something a little bit special. Um, I've been on the hunt lately for a couple of vintage chainsaws, just for the collection, to hang up in the shed. I was going to do this episode in the shed, but the shed's a mess at the moment. So we're going to do a bit of tailgate mechanics. So with that said, let's see what we've got. The other day I picked up this old Bertha. Super heavy, it's a steel S10 chainsaw. There's another one for the collection there, just a bit of a vintage -y sort of one. Um, we've got another one coming as well, different, different model. I think that's an 041 AV. Uh, anyone that's into chainsaws will know what that is. This one here, she is a somewhere between 1968 and 1972 model. Um, let me find. A couple of specs, it's a 56cc. Like I said, a 1968 to 1972 they made these ones. Um, if you notice it's red, where steel is usually an orange color. So 1972 steel switched all their colors to uh, gray and orange. So the colors you see now. So I'm assuming this one's before 72. Started production in 1968, so it's somewhere in there. So it's just, it seems, it seems like it's got all the bits there. So we've got, we've got a bit of bar here. I've only opened this once before. I haven't tested it out or nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this thing apart and see if we can get it going. So we've got a bar. We've got a chain, which by the looks of it, the bloke I bought it off, he's obviously given her a bit of a sharpen. So she's not in too bad a nick, the old chain. A spark plug I've just gone down and bought a new spark plug for it um, the only thing that I can't find for it I've been on eBay having a look is the air filter so they obviously don't make them anymore I've been to the steel shop they can't find me one never mind we should be able to start it with that one we just won't do too much you don't want to be sucking too much in there so I'm no mechanic in any way I've got no idea really what I'm doing I've watched a lot of YouTube if you check out Buck and Billy Ray he's uh, where I've been getting all my knowledge if you're into your chainsaws, you really enjoy Buck and Billy Ray, so... Um, first things first, we'll, go, we'll just put this thing together, eh? Let's put it together. A couple of nuts, a couple of bolts. Screwdriver. And a shifter. This is all we got, so let's see if we can put this thing back together. We've got a bit of wear marks on the old sprocket there. Doesn't look too bad at all. Alright, bar and chain. Not 
too bad of a nick. Something like that. So you've got your bar oil tank with the handle, the sprocket cover, clutch cover. One thing, this fucking bar's heavy. So that's the old girl, mostly back together. Needs a bit of tightening up on the old dog spikes. Spinning, because it's got an old spark plug in there. It's looking a little worse for wear. I'll just give it a... Seems like she's got compression there. She's not, um, she's not seized or anything. Now the old bloke I bought it off, he said it didn't have any spark, he reckons the magneto's probably gone. Um, I can notice now, I don't, like I said, I don't know too much, I've just been watching a lot of YouTube, but the um, high and low jets are wound all the way out on the carburetor. The idle one looks alright. I'm going to pull this spark plug out. Brand new one here, NGK, going to be pretty good. So I paid $160 for this thing, so I thought for $160 bucks, it'd be a nice little antique ornament hanging up in the shed. But the way it's all looking, it should should be able to get it going. Let's change the spark plug. Where's my shit? It's a bit tight. All right, she's looking pretty gunked up. Pretty rusty. Versus your new one. Thread him in. Give him a bit of a nip up. Should do it. Put the lead back on. Now the last thing I'm going to do just before we give it a test run, I'm just going to adjust these uh, carby screws, the high and low. Rule of thumb from what I can gather is your high you want to have out one turn. So wind it all the way back in, one turn out, and you low all the way back in and three quarters out. And from there you should be able to get it started and then you can adjust from there. So screwdriver, two screws, just get winding. High jet screw, oh, she's miles out. Right, I'm gonna go three quarters. Nah, that's not right. Start again, let's start again. Wind them both back in. So high jet, three quarters, quarter, now full halfway around, there we go. Now your low jet, half, full. Let's see what happens. Right, she's a big scary old thing, it's got no safeties, nothing on it, no, nothing for kicking back, no hand guard. Should we check the fuel, make sure she's got some fuel. Bit of quarter of a tank in there. Doesn't smell too bad actually, doesn't smell too stale. Won't worry about bar oil at the moment. Um, I don't know whether to block up this filter or not to stop any chicken in, but we'll just be safe. Let's put a foot on her and crank her over. That plugs in. Open. Choke closed. There's a 
bloody good sign. Uh, I'll grab my screwdriver, we'll just fuck around with the uh, high and low jets. Let's we'll see if we can get it going again. It's a bit of idle. Idle, everything looks alright. We'll just try and kick it over again. Choke off. I'm going to give her a little bit more low jet. Another half a turn, I reckon. Choke on. So she runs pretty good with the choke on. Um, choke, just bucket normal, no choke on. Um, just seems to be dying, so not enough fuel. So we're going to give her another little quarter turn. Out on the low jet. Low jet that does your low idle speed and your high jet's your high. So I'm gonna the high sounded alright when I was giving it full piss, didn't sound like it was pinging off its head or choking down. Um so we might just fuck with the idle, maybe turn the idle up just a smidge and see if that'll just keep it running. A little half turn on the idle screw. Carby's just pissing fuel as well, so she might need a bit of a carby rebuild. Um, she sounded like she was a little flooded as I was giving it a couple herbs. We'll just wind back the low one. Like I said, I'm no expert at this, so this, you know, there's probably a better or easier or proper way to do this, but this is just what I've learned and it seems to be, seems to be working. Alright! <laughs> So that's roughly how you do that. 160 bucks, I think, absolute bargain. Like I said, I might get a carby rebuild kit for it, put some new um, gaskets in there and seat floats. I, I, like I said, I'm not too sure about it all, but I'll, I'll work it out. So if you want to see that video, leave a comment and we'll fucking learn it together. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna get a few, uh, gonna get a filter for it. Uh, so I think we'll have to retune it slightly with the filter because that'll be letting less air in because it'll be the filter blocking it but should we go chop some wood on this i think yes let's go have a go Massive log, we're not going to chop that, we're just going to have a crack on some of this skinny shit, I reckon. So, so the chain's not looking too bad. It goes, nothing left to do, but...
smoking hard. There might be the stale fuel, maybe too much oil in the mix. Uh, she conks out, so she might be too much fuel or not the right air mix with the filter off. But like I said, we can, we can fine tune all that, but here we go, guys. It's pretty fucking hot as well, but stoked. 160 bucks. Keep your eye on Gumtree and at eBay, eBay as well. There we go guys, tailgate mechanics with bush rats. That was good fun, I've had a blast on this one. Um, leave a comment if you've had a good time. If you've got an old saw in the shed, get it going, have a crack on it. And if you don't want to, hit me up, I'll, I'll probably buy it off you. Or send them for free, and make a video out of it. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe, all that sort of shit. Uh, merch, bushrats.bigcartel, we've taken a little bit of a slow down on the merch for the minute, so we're gonna have just drops coming, like a summer drop, a winter drop, a um, marin season drop, some perch merch. One big drop at a time, so. Ears to the ground, wait until you hear about them coming out as well. Check our Instagram at Bushrats. Um, we will see you next time, out on the tracks. Yeah.